save me not, O Lord, my God. Be not far from me. Make haste and come to my help, O Lord, my strong salvation. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Have mercy on us, O Lord. For we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. And grant us salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, by whose gift your faithful offer you right and praiseworthy service, grant we pray that we may hasten without stumbling to receive the things you have promised through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, owe nothing to anyone except to love one another, for the one who loves another has fulfilled the law. The commandments, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not kill, you shall not steal, you shall not covet, and whatever other commandments there may be, are summed up in this saying, namely, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. Love does no evil to the neighbor. Hence, love is the fulfillment of the law. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A responsorial song. Bless the man who is gracious and lends to those in need. Bless the man who is gracious and lends to those in need. Bless the man who fears the Lord, who greatly delights in his commands. His posterity shall be mighty upon the earth. The upright generation shall be blessed. Blessed the man who is gracious and lends to those in need. He dawns through the darkness a light for the upright. He is gracious and merciful and just. Well for the man who is gracious and lends, who conducts his affairs with justice. Blessed the man who is gracious and lends to those in need. Lavishly he gives to the poor. His generosity shall endure forever. His horn shall be exalted in glory. Blessed is the man who is gracious and lends to those in need. Alleluia, alleluia. If you are insulted for the name of Christ, blessed are you, for the Spirit of God rests upon you. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. Lord. Great crowds were traveling with Jesus, and he turned and addressed them. If anyone comes to me without hating his father and mother, wife and children, brothers and sisters, and even his own life, he cannot be my disciple. Whoever does not carry his own cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. Which of you wishing to construct a tower does not first sit down and calculate the cost to see if there is enough for its completion? Otherwise, after laying the foundation and finding himself unable to finish the work, the onlookers should laugh at him and say, This one began to build but did not have the resources to finish. Or what king marching into battle would not first sit down and decide whether with 10,000 troops he can successfully oppose another king advancing upon him with 20,000 troops? But if not, while he is still far away, he will send a delegation to ask for peace terms. In the same way, every one of you who does not renounce all his possessions 
cannot be my disciple. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Good morning. Good morning. There is a famous story of a very well-known, well-respected teacher. And one day someone came up, a parent, and said, My child is one of your students. To which the professor said, Madam, your son may have taken a class or two with me but he is not one of my students. We can understand that in relation to the Gospel of Luke today. Great crowds followed Jesus, yet he is impelled to say, unless you do, and he gives a list of things, you cannot be my disciple. Can a person be a Christian and yet not be a disciple of Jesus? That's a very good question that we must each individually ask ourselves. Am I a Christian in name only? Or am I truly a disciple following Jesus? Now, if the answer is I'm a disciple, God bless us, let us continue along that path. If we realize, you know, I'm more of a Christian in name only and not a disciple, then what must I do? My suggestion would be to adhere our wills toward the divine will. Now, what does that mean in English? The will is that driving force, that desire, if I may, that wants to do something. It wants, uh, let's say, what it views as good. When I am hungry, the will tells me, my senses tell me I'm hungry, the will tells me I need food. It looks at food and says, this food is good, you should consume it. Now the food, might be a strawberry shortcake, apple fritter, a tart. God, I'm getting myself hungry about this. But it could be those things as opposed to what may be truly good for me. If I'm diabetic, I probably shouldn't be eating all of those things. <clears throat> Maybe I need to look at something else. So my intellect must overrule my, my will. Because the will is blind. It just says it wants something, it's going for that thing. The intellect says, hey, this is good or bad, truly good or bad. So to follow Jesus, I must take all of that desire, that drive, that passion, and I must adhere it to the divine will. Lord, help me. What is truly good? What is truly important? What is truly true? Help me to seek those things which will benefit me to the greatest ability, which will benefit my family, which will benefit my community and my society. Lord, I turn my will over to you. Help me. This requires a great deal of humility to do that. Because we may think that we know what is right and good. And our view of what is right and good may be different from what God's view is. I'll give you an example. One that I was mulling around with this morning. We have people that might say, I believe, uh, and this is a controversial in, in issue, I believe we should help migrants, you know, because immigration is a real big issue nowadays. And that is a good thing to help, want to help people. But could their desire 
and this is where the intellect has to come in, could the desire to help the migrant, could we be trying to do that through means that are not good? Maybe they're immoral. Let's keep legality out of it. Let's keep countries out of it. But let's say if I want to help someone and I choose an immoral manner to do it, I might think that that reason justifies. The ends justify the means. What if I look at it differently? What if I'm willing to admit I look at this differently and think maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I should reconsider. Maybe that drive, that passion, that desire, maybe if I turn it over and say, Lord, how would I, how would you handle it? And read and study and pray and ask God, help me. Maybe then I would find that my desire was not being uh, directed fully. I was thinking about that this morning. So I'll let you think about it in your own way. Use your own examples, your own lives. But ask yourself the fundamental question. Am I a follower of Jesus as opposed to am I a disciple of Jesus? May Almighty God be with you. May he bless you. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Coming together as one family in faith, let us offer to God our prayers and our needs. We pray for our Holy Father, for our Archbishop, for all priests, religious brothers, sisters, permanent deacons, and seminarians. We pray to the Lord. Lord, we are prayer. We pray for those who are sick or suffering in any way this day. We pray to the Lord. Lord, we are prayer. We pray for the needs of our brothers and sisters who watch this Mass on video. And for the needs of those uh, who are in our church right now. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord we are prayer. Let us pray for all of our faithfully departed for whom this Mass is being offered today. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Offering all our prayers to the Father, let us conclude with a prayer of praise in honor of the Blessed Trinity. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, it is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and the work of human hands it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God and the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept such sacrifices to your hands for the praise and the glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May these sacrificial offerings, O Lord, become for you a pure oblation and for us a holy outpouring of your mercy through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. 
It is surely right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Father most holy. Through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through me made all things, and you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people. He stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy God, God of hosts. Holy. Heaven and, and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the default, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, he entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that for taking up the body and blood of Christ, we may be gotten into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also, brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life, we may praise and glorify you through your Son. Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy kingdom come. That will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And we do not have to forgive but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. So we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory of you, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Feast the Lord with you always. And with you as Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I'm not worthy that you should enter in my room. But I will say the word, and I will say the word. You will show me the path of life, the fullness of joy in your presence, O oh Lord. Let us pray. May the working of your power, O Lord, increase in us, we pray, so that renewed by these heavenly sacraments, we may be prepared by your gift for receiving what they promise. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. 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 And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Prayer to St. Michael for our families. Holy, Holy Michael, Michael, the Archangel, defend us now. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him in only glory. And to you, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the divine power, thrust us into hell, Satan and all the other evil spirits who wander through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. The divine grace protects you against storms, hurricanes, and other disasters. Blessed, Blessed be God. Blessed be His holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be His most sacred heart. Blessed be His most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus, the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Consoler. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary, most holy. Blessed be her holy immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, the Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. And blessed be God, His angels and His saints. <laughs>